Welcome, everyone. And my pronouns to your lotus feet and to your greedy ears and eyes of love. <laughs> so the song today is a very nice song because it refers to the verse from Prema Bhakti Chandrika. It's about the divine couple, Radha and Mohan, who are my life and my soul. And in, in uh, Naratom Das Thakur says, in life and in death, I have no other shelter than them. On the banks of the Kalindi in the Kadamba Grove, <sighs> meant for amorous sporting, I will seat them both on a jeweled throne. <clears throat> so we can see here that this is a very interesting um, expression. <sighs> that uh, he will seat Radha and Mohan on a jeweled throne. So I was thinking when I was reading this translation, when Naratam does taco, he is like seating them, he's inviting them, please come here <laughs> on this throne and then I can worship you. <laughs> it's a very beautiful... Uh, meditation, how to bring Radha and Mohan into my meditation that I can invite them. Look, my dear Radha, my dear Mohan, I have put a throne here. That's how Naratam Das Taku is singing. A jeweled throne, a nice sitting place. And there I want to anoint the dark and golden limbs. <laughs> The sandal past paste. And then I will fan with the chamara, and then I would like to see how your beautiful faces are happy with my surface. Mm. This is the feeling that uh, is coming in this beautiful song, meditational song. And there are verse that he has expressed the same feeling is in Prema Bhakti Chandrika in page 42. It is very interesting also. I was looking through all the pages today from the beginning because in uh, Mungai Raj Monday at the moment, the uh, Gurudev and the devotees are discussing uh, uh, Vilapa Kushmanjali in the, from the beginning. So it is very interesting because for 42 verses, Srila Naratam Dastako has praised the worship of Krishna in how to surrender and how to overcome anger and greed and, and uh, all the obstacles of the mind and everything that he wanted to uh, give as an introduction to the devotee's eagerness to enter Prema Bhakti or Raganuga Bhakti. So for 41 verses, and you have heard them all, if you have listened to the recordings, then it is possible to say, and Gurudev also has uh, confirmed that that Shilanada Tom Dastako in his Prema Bhakti Chandrika, he is preparing us. He is preparing all the students to listen first about the good reasons why to worship Krishna and how to feel that he is supreme. And, you know, starting from the Vaidhi Bhakti perspective of God consciousness. And now only he started to <laughs> praise Shishi Radha Mohan and his, open his heart, that they are the monarchs of my heart. He is saying, Radha and Krishna, the monarchs of my heart, are my shelter in this life and in the next. And that's very beautiful if we meditate what are monarchs. They are the queen and the king 
monarchs are the rulers. They are the boss. <laughs> they are the boss of my heart. That is our goal, that we can always be in their guidance, that we can always be in their protection, in their shelter. Gurdiv knows what it was to be a king. And, you know, he had seen his grandfather, Raghunandan Singh, and his father, how to be a good boss, a good king, a good, you know, protection giver and sheltering, shelter giving person. And that is what also Srila Naratom Dastago has invited us in 40 pages of 40 verses. And, of course, our Acharyas, they have commented on them. Please take shelter. The interesting thing is that when we compare it to our uh, beautiful, beautiful Vilap Kusmanjali, it is a different beginning. There, Srila uh, Raghunath Das Goswami, his first verse is the Mangala Charana, we always say auspicious, auspicious beginning is about his friend, Rupa Manjari, who has a lip cut, and he is talking from friend to friend. So it's very, very obvious and very easy to understand that this is a completely different approach. Here we start immediately from Siddha Deha. Siddha Deha means from the spiritual being from the spiritual person that is there with them. They are there in the town of Rendavan and they are having a very beautiful uh, meeting where one person is speaking to the next and this is the Guru Ch Charana. It's the, it's the prayer to the lotus feet of Shiguru. It's very personal and it's completely in a friendly in very close mood because they are exchanging about the meeting of Radha Moha. So we see here that uh, the Prema Bhakti Chandrika, just you know, as a book, it is a book about how to enter Raga Nuga Bhakti. That's why also so many verses in the beginning, the importance of surrender and uh, you know. The do's and the don'ts have been very much uh, explained. Yes, if you want to be successful, do this and don't do that. And become, if you want to become happy, do this and don't do that. And then only after 42 verses, Naratam Das Thakur Mahashoy is opening his heart. Radha and Krishna, the monarchs of my heart, are my shelter in this life and in the next. And those who have become the eternal associates of the divine couple, having become overwhelmed by their blissful mutual love, these sakis and manjaris are the necklaces around my neck. The necklaces. We all have a necklace. <laughs> we have a Tulsi Manjari. We have Tulsi Malas around our necks. And that is reminding us of Radha and Mohan and Tulsi Manjaris arranging their meeting and serving them. So this is also very beautifully expressed. The necklace around my heart and around my neck. Necklace means something what you always keep very close to your neck. And the neck is a very um, also beautiful part of the body where everyone can see what is your necklace, what is your decoration, what is dear to you. Usually we put around our neck what we want to show to the world also. Especially the ladies, when they have a nice dress and they have a nice, like a pearl necklace, Srimati Radhika, she has a pearl necklace. And sometimes she has also the Shyamantaka jewel. 
she has you know the jewels the jewels are around the neck and they always of course in her case refer to her mohan and the love for him and in our case as a sadaka as a practicing devotee naratanda stako says may this matter always remain in my heart because the necklace is close to my heart radha and mohan they are very close they are in my heart and i want them to become more prominent and more manifest in my heart so that is actually this verse i was just i was checking this this was my intention this morning that where does he start to speak about radha and mohan so that is the verse and then immediately i got the inspiration to sing the song radha krishna pranamora yoga la kesho jivane marane gati aro nahi mor they are my life and my soul and that is also what he is expressing here and that is what ananta das baba ji is uh, you know making a bigger decorations of this because the verse is the net decoration we could say it is the glorification and then the commentary or the the tikas how they are called in the sanskrit they are more decorating you know they are they are make it look even more beautiful and they bring out the details and here uh, ananda das baba ji is showing that in this verse by saying that he wants to keep radha and mohan's love and their service and the service to the sakis and mandris as a necklace around his neck or in his heart this is the uh, yugala bhajan the worship of the divine couple in the sadaka mood we listen about it and we we uh, meditate about it and we are praying that we can dream about it that we can always remember it and that we can always be connected that's why i like this example of necklace because the necklace is, is, is you know i think we all keep our tulsi malas our kanti malas around our neck until they fall out <laughs> after some years they fall out some pearls but these are our deepest desires to become connected to shri radha mohan and to come very close to them always be close and feel close to them and then he says also that the sakis and mandris the servants of radha mohan are always greedy after the happiness and it's not only any kind of happiness it's the rasika happiness of the yugala and they are always in the company and they are my very life and the necklaces around my neck so he is you know it's like uh naratam das tako is giving the the introduction into now raganuga bhajan yuga la bhajan and ananta das baba ji in his most merciful loving compassionate way he is giving the the continuation so to say he is making it more colorful and more clear how to remember them and then he says that the goal of the gaudiya vaishnavas is radha dasya mandri ba so he says this from the very beginning is not uh, hiding it is making it clear so that we can uh, always remember it and as i know i am a conditioned soul on the way to become 
purified and become spiritualized in my spiritual existence. But it's, it is very easy to forget. We see that even nowadays, mon many of us forget what is the goal of life again and again during the day or during difficult times of our lives. We forget. It is a tendency of the marginal conditioned state if we are still in the state of, you know, ping pong, which I also belong to, that we sometimes are in spiritual life and then again we are off according to our desires, according to where the mind and the senses are concentrated on. But here we have, again, black and white, the greatest and most extraordinary goal of life, this Radha Dasyam, is the merciful gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu and the DMO's project or subject preached by the six Goswamis. So he, he is making it clear that Radhika Adik Sneha, the you know, prominence of Shimati Radhika in the bhajan and in the shelter is our goal. And he says that Radha Krishna Pranapati, this is what he is singing in this verse, means that Sri Radharani is the goddess of the Gaudiya Vaishnava's hearts and taking shelter of her lotus feet is their shelter at Sri Krishna's lotus feet. So that is uh, also very clear. That taking shelter of Shimati Radhika's lotus feet and taking shelter of her as our divine goddess of our hearts is our shelter at Sri Krishna's lotus feet. And he is saying that about all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. So that's also another amazing point. He doesn't, um, you know, differentiate even. He says, this is the goal of all our lives. And he says also, when taking shelter at the lotus seat of a bona fide guru, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka becomes acquainted with his or her spiritual body as Sri Radha's maid servants or Manjari, along with an introduction to her 11-fold spiritual identity, name, age, complexion, dress, and so on. So I, I remember, I think in one of our last uh, meetings here, I think Dayanidhi uh, Prabhu, he was asking the question, what is the, the speciality of this, uh, uh, you know, Radha Dasyam Bhajan, this Rupa Nuga Bhajan, compared to other kinds of, of meditations? And, and then I, I uh, remember now that Gurudev was explaining it a couple of times, that the speciality is to get this Siddhadeya, to get this spiritual body, as a connection to Srimati Radhika in this Radha Dasyam worship. Because in other kinds of Raga Nuga worships, like parental mood or uh, friendship, you know, if we love Krishna as a, as a parent, as like in the following of Mother Yashoda or so, we don't need to have a Siddha Deha to meditate on this. Because we can meditate also in our Sada Kadeha and all the services that Mother Yashoda does and that Nanda Baba does and the cowherd boys do. But if we want to enter into the mood of a maidservant of Srimati Radhika, whose, as we have heard, greed is about the assisting the mutual Rasika happiness assisting the, you know, when Radha and Mohan are together and they are in their rasa, they are in the, in the deepest closeness, what they experience when they are together, then 
that is what we need. We need a spiritual existence. We need a spiritual body that we can meditate upon this. Otherwise, it is very likely and very possible, and it has been seen, that we mix up <coughs> the desires of the sadhaka deha, the sexual desires, with our uh, desires to serve Srimati Radhika and Moha. So we need the spiritual body for that. That is very important. And that's why Baba is mentioning it immediately. And that, he says, is the internal worship. Internal means, you know, by meditation, by thinking, and by imagining, and establishing a self-esteem. I think this point is also interesting to, to, to talk about, and maybe uh, any devotees would like to comment on that. The self-esteem is what I feel myself. That is a very important uh, meditation to remember during the day when I want to worship Radha Mohan, that I always come from the heart, feelings of being a Darcy, a small cowherd girl, who is trying to serve Swamini in her feelings and in her service, in her desires. And then when we accept this self-esteem, or as often as I can feel it, it becomes natural. And that is something that we all aspire, at least what I pray for, that this becomes a natural feeling in my life, that I can naturally always feel like a small, very young and tender and soft Dasi. And that is um, a practice. And uh, it takes uh, purity and it takes eagerness and it takes the blessings. One must remember that the practitioner will not be able to keep love for the lotus feet of the divine couple within the heart on his own strength. This must be known to be solely dependent on the grace of Sri Guru, Vaishnava, and Bhagavan, and Bhagavati. Bhagavan is Krishna, and Bhagavati is Sri Matira. So that's an interesting uh, combination. The desire is from my side, and the you know the wish to always connect myself. And the mercy, the mercy is the other side. So that is the combination, the mercy and the wish. And then if the wish is maybe not so strong, then what to do? Okay, we know we go to someone who has a stronger wish. But also we can wish that we could wish. That is a very effective uh, desire. If I cannot wish now, then oh, please Radha Mohan, please Guru, please all my dear brothers and sisters, uh, help me that I can desire to wish. Desire to have a strong desire. And then it will go on, you know, to the next step. Anybody would like to add on this? Who's sitting there, Balaram? And uh, who is this gentleman next to you? Actually, 
we were talking about this with good if also and uh, it was very very nice that what you said now that that was something um yeah missing in the answers or, or yeah you clarified it with with the part that something has to come from us also the purity and the, and the eagerness but then you said that um the mercy is to keep it in the heart no the mercy that, uh, helps us to keep the keep the love in the heart and that was a very uh is a crucial point i think and yeah uh, nice meditation i will i will keep that <laughs> with me <laughs> thank you Yes, I heard this morning's class that it was yesterday mornings and I always feel inspired to connect with that because I know all of our meditations is to try to keep it in the consciousness that we aspire. I mean, it's, it's easy to lose it. But on the other hand, we can also say we can easily catch it back. If I notice that I lost it, then I can, oh, good, quickly go back. Yeah, and it's also nice to, to keep in mind that it's not our own endeavor and not only mercy, but it, both things have to be there. That both things have to be there. This is... Yes, it is true. And uh, I remember there was a time in my life where it was kind of difficult and I felt very... Uh, 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 covered and sad and <clears throat> I tried to overcome the sadness but at the same time there was a lot of self-pity and I was so much in this uh, circle of you know negativity about myself or about my you know sadaka self that I really didn't know what to do I, I always felt that My, my capacity is so very uh, low and slow and covered. <laughs> I was only absorbed in this kind of feelings about myself. And I guess we all know this, you know, negativity about our own selves, judging <coughs> and uh, all this, you know, this, what can be uh, like a vicious circle. And then Gordif, <clears throat> he only wrote one word to me <laughs> and guess what that word was desire <laughs> <laughs> so and then I thought oh yes uh, I don't need to circle around my non-ability to do things or about my covering and about my sadness and my complete absorption in my You know, my lilas, <laughs> my, my sadaka worldly lila, I can just desire. And then with that uh, hint, only it needed a hint, then I thought, yeah, you are so stupid. Just desire to be, you know, more free again and more positive and go to Vrindav and desire it. And then it also, it just like, it was like a blessing. And that is what, Baba says that we need these blessings because whatever we feel, whatever I think about myself, I should not think that my dear Guru Mandari will not notice. <laughs> They know. <laughs> They have the mystical ability to check our thermometer. So with just a glance, we know this. We always pray this. Chimate Radhikas Karipa Kataksh. With a sidelong glance, she will help even Mohan. <laughs> What to speak about us? So we praying for also the sidelong glance of our Guru Manjari. And she, she gives many glances. And she feels many of our feelings. So also it's good to, to check Check the feeling and check the mood. And even if I sometimes cannot do it because maybe I have not the strength, 
I don't have the attitude. I feel uh, uh, I'm missing too much. Oh, they give it. They can give it. But only one word they can give it. So, then I continue a little bit with the purport. If there's nobody who wants to share more. May I share? Oh, yes. Radhe Radhe. And today, Jayanana Maharaj is giving another Japanese lecture. That's why he cannot come. But after he finished class, he eagerly want to join this. Radhe, thank you. Yes, I know. Yes. He, giving always causes mercy to all of us. <laughs> yes. Maybe he will come soon, I feel. And yeah, you said about all this uh, Radha Rani's sidelong class. So this morning, Gurudev shared that we started a new seva in our mandir about Guru Samadhi. And this Guru Samadhi seva is uh, like uh, become more popular, like uh, uh, our Shiva temple seva also, Prema Prasadam also, this medicine seva also. Like this level, it will become Gurudev predicted and blessed us. And at that time, Gurudev said, there are many sevas. And if some devotee who have a fortune get these sevas, means what? Now we are discussing about desire. What is our desire as Radha Darcy is only seva. That's why, so I inspired that what is our desire is uh, if we are going to normal position, we stay in normal position, what I need is just a seva. This is a real desire. If I try to go back this position, I always keep this humble position. This is my practice. Rade, rade. Yes, very true. Because the secret of seva is that it will light, guide us to attachment. Actually, we are natural servants. The hand is serving the mouth. No? The eye is serving the mind. The nose is also serving the body. Is I like it or do, do I don't? I not like it. Is it good for me or is it not good for me? The feet are serving the whole body. We are all, you know, we are like a network of service, so the whole existence can somehow be good. We take care very nicely of this temple of our body. But now we would like to take care or go into the desire that I also have an eternal body. And how to live in that? How to serve this eternal body? That is the secret of service. Because my service, for example, in Munga Rajmandir, will connect me to Radha Mohan, to Param Gurudev. And I can pray that this service will remind me of my spiritual senses. And serving in the mood of, you know, the sweet mood of a servant, of a servant, of a servant, of a Dasi of Shimati Radhika. And then our spiritual senses, they, you know, they can slowly, slowly be awakened. And then the perspective on this world and on the goal of my self will be completely transformed. And then service gets a different uh, taste. I remember when Gurudev started to teach me about Manjari Bath. <laughs> this was so funny. I remember my mind, you know, because Gurudev said, just imagine there's a very beautiful queen 
And you could never be so close to the queen because she is a queen, right? And I am just a normal inhabitant of the kingdom. But if you become the maidservant of the queen, you can be like very close to the queen. <laughs> like this Gurudev started to explain to us. And I was thinking, why should I want to serve a queen? <laughs> 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 Because for me it was very foreign. I didn't I never had a queen in my life. This was something from you know from my chitta, from my consciousness, it was a very foreign thing to serve a queen. But for Gurudev, because also he comes from a you know a king's family, it was a very uh, sweet thing to, to and we also know that we always call Radharani our queen. But at that moment, it was very uh, foreign for me. But now I feel in a different way. I feel, oh, yes, she is my goddess. She is the highest love, the highest personification of the sweetness that will please Mohan. She is the superwoman. <laughs> she is the, you know. Whatever, and I think also uh, we have this freedom. We can choose for our Radharani the feelings that come naturally to me. She is my super, you know, super lover. She is the one who can really make Mohan happy. And I, I would like to serve her in that regard that she will be super happy with me and she will be you know pleased and you know i think the realizations they come slowly they for me at least i mean for others they come very quickly i see all of you you are very quick in this you are very um more uh you know i i see my brothers and sisters they come to gurudev in the shelter and listening for, for not so many years and they have quickly some realizations but i like this idea that i don't have to feel that she is my queen i can feel what what makes me feel the highest that i want to serve the supreme goddess of love so my my consciousness has been adjusted you know And I, I, um, I understand at that time when Gurudev came to teach or to reveal this Mandri Bhav, we were very, uh, uh, you know, stuck in our own little, uh, how do you say, world. <laughs> so this world is changing. And when we do service, and when we do uh, service, especially with the mood of humility and um, uh, You know, I don't need to control anything. I don't need to. I'm not the boss. You know, I'm just the observer. I just try to serve the best way I can. Then it can be very quickly and it can be coming, like Prabhupada said, we can be Krishna conscious in one second. So means we can be in the shelter of Swamini in one second. If the, if the heart and the mind become very close, connected, then the spiritual senses, they can really bloom up very quickly. Niti Didi. Radhi. Just what you said, this morning Gurudev said the same things. Really? <laughs> Have you sent your recording after? Wow, both of you are same heart. Thank you for reminding. There are there. <laughs> In the words Jiva Ne Marane Gati, he shows his surrender to the Yugala, to Radha and Mohan, in both Sadaka self esteem as well as Siddha self esteem. So here Baba comes back to the subject of self esteem or self, self feeling. How, what I, who do I think I am? In sadaka self-esteem, the sadaka thinks of himself as I am one worshiper in Manjari Ba. So he we think that yes, my 
desire is to worship divine love in the form of a small servant of that divine love. And I'm worshiping and I'm doing everything what I do in these feelings, or at least I try to remember that all the time. You know? I notice that sometimes I think I don't do nothing. Of course, it is also, in a way, it is right, because I, I cannot do much. I always need the mercy. I need the well-wishing of my Guru Manjari, of my brothers and sisters. But on the other hand, I think I am, I am trying. So this is already something that I can say. I'm trying and I try my best, maybe not all the time my very best, but if I am trying, then I try to be better in these desires and in my trying. And slowly, slowly, you know, like Rudolf always gives us this example from Bhagavad Gita. Slowly and surely, the ultimate goal. <laughs> it, is, it is for sure. We don't need to worry. And in the mentally conceived Bhava Deha, and here he has another nice translation. This Bhava Deha, we say the devotional emotions body, but here Baba uh, uh, translators call it the body of transcendental ecstasy. <laughs> he is immersed in the flavors of meditating on the relishable service and sweetness of the Yuga Lakishu. This is another wonderful condition of relish. And in this condition or in this feelings, in this transcendental ecstasy or transcendental existence, the sadaka thinks Radha and Mohan are my only shelter in life or in death. And how? This is also very nice. He says, in life they protect me from evil and bless me by giving me the good fortune of bhajan, rati and prem. <coughs> so there is protection, like he said, the monarchs, they are, you know, the king and the queen of my life, they are protecting me, they are giving me shelter and they are also blessing me that in my life I can at least have a little bit of good fortune to be able to desire to do bhajan and to desire to develop my higher feelings and to desire praying and service of this praying. And in death, he says, they are so kind to bless me by giving me the service of their divine lotus feet. Or if I'm not suitable uh, for that service, they can keep me wherever they wish. <laughs> their wish will become my very life. So that is also very sweet. That they will keep me as long as they keep me. I don't care where they put me. It will be all right. I can trust them. I can believe them. And I can fully, you know, let all my desires for control, of fear, I can let them go that they will take care also. And on a higher level, you know, this is the level of I am yours. But Gopinath always mentioned on a sweeter and higher level, even we can say that I will take care of you. Don't worry, Gurudev. We will do the services that you like to be seen, the services. We will be your arms. We'll be your legs. We will do everything. We will be your fingers and we will be your mouth. We want to do the services that you would like us to do. 
And that is also very, very sweet relation in that service. And then the internal and the external will become one. And here Baba is explaining. In this way, the surrendered sadhakas keep the lotus feet of Radha Mohan as the essence of everything and become carefree and free from doubts throughout their bhajan lives, in life or in death. So that is a very good, uh, very good perspective to be fearless and to see that in life and death, it, it, I am always, uh, I'm safe. I am very safe and I am seen and I am heard. It's, it's very personal and I can see them. I can see my Swamini. I can feel how to feel her more and more and more in all of my brothers and sisters, in all the souls that are coming into my life. That's why I call my children also in the spiritual name. That's why Gopinath and Gopika call their children Radha, Radhika and Mohan. I can always see them everywhere. And every soul that comes into my life, I can see also as a servant of the divine. And then Baba gives another uh, step further. We had the two uh, categories, what he explained that the self-esteem of a sadhaka, how we think I am a worshiper in Manjari Bar. This is our external, you know, like to say goal or fixed um, desire. And then when we meditate internally, then we are aspiring for the spiritual senses, our spiritual body, and how to somehow connect and uh, really go into a deep, deep self-esteem of this, with this. And then he says, when we reach a certain level in that, when the sadhaka reaches the level of rati, rati is a strong attachment. means it's a natural feeling of attachment. It doesn't come by pressure. It doesn't come by logic. It comes by mercy and good fortune. And then he perceives his spiritual senses of body day and night, and he forgets about his present body. So that is the stage when the two come together. It's not like now I take my mala and then I remember who I am. Okay, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, I am a spirit soul, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. I'm a servant of Srimati Radhika. That is what we try, right? This is my, <laughs> my uh, homework. <laughs> I try this every day. I always want to remember. But at one level, Gurudev explained this also, and Ananda Das Babaji also explained this, that the inner and the external body become one. And it's shining, you know, the, the mood of the transcendental body is shining through our human existence more and more. And that means we can forget about this present body in such a way that we can, uh, for example, we forget the time when we speak in Hari Kata, in Radha Kata, and we do Kirtan. We forget the time because there's no more time. It's eternal. And he says even that in this stage, also, the same feelings are there that Radha and Mohan are our shelter in life or in death. And that is a very sweet thing 
Because how will you feel that there is life and death if you are in your eternal body? <laughs> That's a good question, right? Because you are in your eternal body, how can there be life and death? But he says that the human-like transcendental pastimes, like for example the gopis or Shimati Radhika, who is the highest gopis and the source of all gopis, they also feel that they will die if they don't see Krishna now. There's no question of death, but because they are the human-like pastimes, the feeling is there, and we all know this feeling when we have loved someone. Or if we love someone now, we don't want to miss the person. And then when we have not seen the person for a long time, what happens then? We don't like to eat, we don't like to sleep. We just want to uh, somehow die <laughs> without that person. And Shimati Radhika also feels the same. If she hasn't seen Mohan for a while, she becomes very uh, lifeless. And the mantras are very much uh, always watching it. They always want to make sure that she is completely full of life and full of uh, happiness. So when they see that she is becoming too desperate, they always try to arrange for a meeting so that life will become fully, you know, they can live together again in their togetherness. That is what the Mandri service is, to bring Radha Mohan together and to have them in their divine embrace. And that is the Maha Mantra. So, even when somebody has reached such a high level, like Rati or uh, Raghunath Das Goswami and Rati Mandari, Rupa Mandari, Rupa Goswami, they still consider themselves as an ordinary soul. They are also in uh, feeling themselves subject to birth, death, old age, and disease. And in this way, the flavors of Radha Mohan's sweet human life pastimes are nicely achieved. So it's very interesting that first we don't want to be, uh, you know, let's say, we, I want to realize my spiritual eternal existence. And then when I have realized it nicely, I just think I am an ordinary human being. <laughs> It's funny. But this is the Lokik Satbandu Bhat. This is the transcendental feelings of uh, being in this material world, but not being of this material world. I think it's something that all of us feel already. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, right? We feel that we are in this world, we are in this body, but actually we are not of this world. And that is a development to go more deeper and to feel uh, like the bridge pass this year. They feel very humble and very sweet and they just want to make sure that uh, Srimati Radhika and Mohan always want to be in their Leelas and in their meetings, and that they want to make everyone happy. They want to see them all happy. The bridge bases always want to see their Mohan happy. Mother Yashoda wants to see her Mohan happy. So, Sundaram, Radhe Radhe, how is my time today? I didn't check it because I have my small uh, mobile. <laughs> uh, window. It's okay. It's one and five minutes. My God, I over, I over talked myself. <laughs> this is all my soul. I'm so sorry. So Italian words. <laughs> <laughs> In Italy, it is no problem. In India, also. <laughs> yeah. We are not in Switzerland or in Tokyo. Yes, or in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> also. 
<laughs> or an ostrich. So, thank you very much. Thank you all. Dandavats, and let's give the away for the beautiful kirtan. I try to also do beautiful kirtan, but somehow my recording is making interruption. But now uh, our dear Razeshwari told me how to do it. So maybe next time it will be a better quality. <laughs>